All right, guys, we continue our project and this is gonna be the last video. We're gonna create the choose your plan page. All right, so let's do it. Let's open code editor in the source folder. Uh, let's open pages folder. Let's create the new page. And we're gonna name it uh, choose plan .js. So it's gonna be the functional component. Now let's import uh, style components because we're gonna use it from uh, style it components and we're gonna import logo import logo gonna logo from path is two levels up SVG and it's gonna be a logo that SVG and what else uh, let's of course import the link from react router dom uh, link and nav link router dom all right so uh for now it's good for importing so next Let's create header top container. So uh, name right away our main container for the stylet components. And let's uh, create a variable down here. So we're gonna comment it uh, main container. Let's create a variable const. So I'm gonna be main container. Uh, style it. It's gonna be diff to the ticks. All right. So uh, inside the main container, let's create the diff with the class name. Uh, we're gonna name it header top. All right. So inside the header top, uh, let's create the link for our logo and of course we're gonna give the path and for now let's just to the main and uh, let's the image okay the source gonna be our logo this guy because we have uh, the path to the logo so logo alternative we can say just to logo all right so and down here let's create the nav link and path to login okay and right away the class name let's give it the class name uh, gonna be btn and assign in in btn that's gonna be our uh, button so and sign in and in our app GS, uh, let's create the route. Let's copy the login, and uh, here's gonna be the URL. Let's name it uh, choose plan. And component gonna be choose plan. All right, so like in here. So let's save. And let's, uh, okay, let's open the terminal. Let's start the server. Okay. All right, let's type the URL, choose plan. All right. All right, so our logo showed up our sign in button so let's continue let's close the terminal for now let's close the app we don't need it not actually no right away guys uh, let's import our choose your plan so Control d two times and uh, choose plan good so we import it 
Let's close the app.js for now and let's continue. I forget the R in here. All right, let's comment it. So it's a uh, header top. All right, let's style it for now. So let's go down here in our main container and let's comment. It's a uh, header top and class header top background uh, it's gonna be white triple f and height uh, gonna be 6 ram and border button bottom uh, I'm gonna say 1px uh, it's gonna be solid and gonna be 6e 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 all right let's save let's see guys okay we got an error uh, an edge error identified choose plan has already been declared. Oops. All right. Ah, yes. All right. My bad, guys. Let's close. Let's open. All right. So let's continue. Let's give to our main container the background. It's gonna be white to tricky. Now let's create the header content after this diff. Let's comment it. Header content. All right. So it's gonna be the diff with the class name. Header content. First, let's add the let's see an original. Now we're gonna add the this image, the text. We're gonna work with the uh, uh, bullets, okay? And we're gonna add the button. All right, now let's do it. So image mg and uh, let's give the class name right away. Class name uh, check uh, mark logo and let's import it, guys. That's down here. Uh, it's actually a copy and I'm gonna be. The name we're gonna name it uh, check mark uh, logo and it's gonna be images images and name of the file uh, with capital check mark dot png. Let's say for now, let's give it the path and curly braces. Uh, Check mark logo. Uh, check mark image. All right. Uh, let's see if it's imported. Yeah. Okay. Let's continue. And after image, uh, let's set the paragraph. It's gonna be text step one of three. All right, and let's do here the strong. This doesn't work. All right, strong, not a string. Strong. Uh, let's delete. Let's add one in here, and same with this strong. And here's gonna be three. All right, 
uh, we can see because it's white okay so uh, you know guys let's style our header content first yeah so let's do header uh, content content class uh, let's do display grid and we're gonna justify the content uh, on the center uh, center and let's give the background I uh, want to be white and color let's import the variable it's gonna be main dark um, margin bottom let's do 6 RAM and width uh, let's do 65 yeah 65 percent and position so I'm gonna do relative and margin let's do outer and margin top uh, let's do 4.5 RAM and text align uh, let's do center and align uh, content as the center and flex uh, direction we're gonna use the columns oh, not columns column and let's give it a Z index uh, let's give give it two yeah all right let's see guys all right uh, okay let's work on our bullets yeah on our bullets okay let's continue uh, first let's yeah let's add the content first and then we're gonna uh, use the CSS all right so the next we're gonna add the h2 and the tags gonna be choose your plan and let's create the checklist let's create the div with the class name uh, check it list all right and inside let's create the bullets uh, we're gonna give the yeah class the bullet uh, let's copy two more times uh, let's add the text okay let me just copy from here to save our time uh, first bullet let me add in here second bullet and the last one in here let's save okay let's see what we got guys okay we see our bullets and let's add the button uh, it's gonna be button because we're gonna export uh, I mean because we're gonna import uh, from our button where is it in the components I guess yeah this one so let's import uh, import uh, button because it's a variable remember guys button uh, from and the path to levels up in the components it's gonna be button okay let's save that's gonna be button and the text 
we're gonna use uh, C the plants okay let's see let's see what's going on yeah we have our button in here so let's style our list uh, going down here so first uh, let's style our check mark logo and the list okay down here let's comment uh, check mark uh, logo check mark logo and let's do width uh, gonna be 3 rem and margin top that's gonna be uh, 3 1 25 rem and margin bottom margin bottom we're gonna say uh, 2 rem let's see you know what let's uh, style the logo for now guys uh, so our logo uh, what with the class we have the class for logo and uh, we don't have the class let's uh, create the container for our for the our logo uh, let's comment it and uh, logo okay so const uh, logo equals style it uh, so the image all right and let's do width that's gonna be 10.5 rem yeah height let's add uh, 3.5 rem and position I'm gonna say absolute and the top uh, let's add the 49 percent and left I'm gonna say the eight percent and transform and uh, uh, translate I'm gonna say minus 50 percent and uh, minus 50 percent and let's do the margin let's say left that's gonna be zero we forget the rename our image to work with the style components we need to rename our image to logo all right okay so let's continue we're gonna say a header content margin uh, we're gonna say on a top six point uh, 25 ram and left and right gonna be outer and on the bottom 1.875 ram all right so let's save let's see and it doesn't work because i forget guys say the image i need the image okay let's uh, continue working on our bullets all right so first checklist Turn it down here and check the list. It's gonna be the uh, text and a line. I'm gonna say to the left. We don't wanna on the center and margin. Uh, gonna be one ram on the top, uh, right to left out. Uh, out uh, and on the bottom we're gonna say 3 ram and the padding uh, left 1.5 uh, 
x25 RAM. All right, and uh, let's do width uh, 75 percent and font size. Uh, let's do 17 because pixels uh, padding out. Okay, so now let's uh, work on our bullets. So here's gonna be bullets and bullet. I'm gonna say a uh, margin uh, top. It's gonna be one RAM and uh, margin left. It's gonna be one RAM as well. So let's uh, do text indent. Uh, gonna be minus one for em and line uh, height. I'm gonna say one point two RAM. Okay. Let's see. All right. So now we're gonna create our bullets. All right. So we're gonna say check. Uh, list and uh, bullet uh, it's gonna be pseudo element before uh, gonna be color is uh, transparent display in line lock and position I'm gonna be absolute. No, not absolute, guys. Let's do relative and height. Let's do 0 0.3. I'm gonna be EM width. Let's do 0 0.8 EM content. That's gonna be empty and left. Uh, let's do minus. Uh, it's going to be 0 0.9375 RAM and bottom 0 0.1875 RAM. And let's uh, create our bullets. It's going to be border, uh, bottom, and say one pixel and solid and uh, color E5, uh, 0, 9, 14, oops, 14, and uh, border left, uh, it's gonna be say one pixel, solid, uh, it's gonna be the same, let's see. Yep, now let's rotate, and we're gonna use transform, and translate, I'm gonna say minus, 45 degree because of course guys it's a rotate my bad apologize okay all right we have our bullets and let's make a little bit wider guys let's go back to checklist uh, let's do 85 Okay, let's style our signing button, guys. Okay, we forget about the signing button. Let's do down here. Uh, the sign in BTN. Okay, that's a class name. Sign in BTN. Let's add the class. Sign in with a capital BTN and margin on the top is going to be 1 625 ram uh, left and right we're going to add the 3% and on the bottom it's going to be 0 so padding uh, let's do on the top and bottom 0 4375 ram and right and left 1.0625 uh, 25 RAM uh, font uh, weight uh, I'm gonna say I'm gonna be 700 
uh, line height uh, gonna be normal color uh, it's gonna be I'm gonna use the variable main dark uh, font uh, size I'm gonna use one 25 frame right uh, I'm gonna use zero and position I'm gonna say absolute cursor uh, I'm gonna say pointer and okay let's see button and looks like we have the problem with the uh, yeah class name not sign but sign in all right let's save let's check now yep okay let's continue guys style our button and let's do hover and we're gonna say text uh, decoration underline let's save so okay and let's yeah let's fix this guy so when the header top where's the header top and it's uh, <laughs> it's wrong guys it's gonna be e6 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 oh uh, it's you now guys my apologize is very hard for me typing and talking at the same time uh, especially when you talk in a second language English language okay so let's see yep all right so what we need uh, we need the footer like this one so it's easy because we're gonna copy some from login footer I guess let's see guys uh, here's the phone everything okay let's let's copy you know what uh, yeah footer container and yeah let's or actually no let's copy all the component stuff and uh, we we'll just create no now let's you know what let's uh create new folder oops not not in here in the components let's create new folder i'm gonna call it uh, choose and plan all right okay and in here let's create the footer choose plan and a gs all right so let's paste in here and we're gonna delete some stuff uh, so we actually you know guys we're not gonna use any state so let's just cut this guy and uh, let's delete everything for now let's use the snippet of C okay let's add and here we're gonna delete the button and content we don't need it yeah all right let's import to our uh, choose plan page so let's uh, import uh, footer choose footer choose plan that's gonna go from and the path it's uh, in the components inside the choose plan folder okay and let's add down here 
um, footer choose plan. Uh, let's save. Let's see for now. Choose plan.js page. Um, choose plan.js. What's wrong? Let me see. Choose plan. And I forget the and the footer plan. All right. Let's see now. Link is not defined because in a choose footer we not import any this stuff. So we don't need these guys icons. We don't need the icons. Just gonna grab this and put down here. Let's save. Uh, it's not defined. Uh, foot container is not defined yes because we need the create one uh, let's comment let's say footer uh, container and variable and footer container equal Style it and just footer to the ticks. All right, now we define it. Let's save and see. All right, all right. So now we're gonna style so I can see it's uh, showed up. Let's style and yeah, let's get rid of this style. And inside our footer container. So we're gonna say display uh, grid and justify our content. And we're gonna say the center and background. I'm gonna use F3, 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 uh, padding 1A. Uh, 75 frame and zero uh, margin top is gonna be 10 frame and position gonna be relative border I'm gonna say on the top gonna be one pixel uh, solid mm -hmm. And E6, E6, E6. All right. And let's give it the Z index. Z index is going to be 5. Okay, let's see. All right. Something shot up. Let's continue. Next, we're going to be style the footer columns. The class footer. Columns with uh, eighty percent and margin. I'm gonna say one RAM on the top and three RAM on the right, zero on the bottom, and three RAM I'm gonna use on the left. A color I'm gonna use triple nine let's use grid uh, template columns uh, repeat uh, we're gonna use uh, we're gonna use four and with one fragment actually you know guys let's do 250 pixels actually yeah let's translate the pixels to the rams so pixel to ram i usually use this website nice tool so 250 uh, let's just copy 
okay let's close for now we don't need it uh let's use the ram and let's see what we get okay uh now let's uh, display uh grid okay now it's good and let's make a gap it's gonna be grid a gap we're gonna say 0 0.3 ram all right so let's continue uh let's guys wrap uh in a different we're gonna name the class footer wrapper wrapper all right and just Press the Alt and just move down up here. Okay, let's save. You can see nothing yet, and let's style it a bit and footer wrapper. I'm gonna give margin top and bottom zero and outer left and right and let's do padding uh, 1.25 ram now let's guys uh, work on a question text link and it's gonna be here uh, okay let's do uh, let's give a class let's give a class right here in class name uh, let's name it question uh, link all right let's copy this class let's go down here and let's style it we're gonna say margin uh, gonna, on the left we're gonna be 3 RAM and the form size uh, 1 RAM okay yep let's continue let's work on a, a link Let's say color gonna be oops uh, triple nine and font size let's do zero point eighty one twenty five frame and let's do the hover and hover we want to text uh, decoration underline and cursor I'm gonna say pointer okay save okay and let's give the color for all our span it's gonna be triple nine okay almost done so and let's get rid of the bullets so it's gonna be ul and list style type None. Okay, let's compare to the region now. 
That's different text. Okay, let's change the text. Let's copy this one. Here's the contact us, but doesn't matter, guys. It's just you can play with the text, make like original, but for me it's a good. So let's put it on here. Flag. Uh, help center. What else? Term of use. And let's copy one more. We need the fourth one. And it's going to be privacy. And privacy. Okay, let's see. All right. Yep, uh, now, so if we go back, so we wanna link to this page to click on this button. So to fix it, we just go to our header, I guess. Yes, uh, it's in our pages. Where's our header now and here? Okay, and in the header, let's find this button. Let's try it now. So let's give the path to uh, it's gonna be choose. Let me see. Choose plan. Let's copy this URL and uh, let's add choose plan. Let's copy the path because we need add to the these buttons. Okay, so we add in here. So if we click, not in yet. Uh, why? Why it's not working? Path, choose plan. So let's see your choose plan. Yes, why well, it doesn't work? My hand do. Oh, guys, uh, my apologize, guys, it's never gonna work straight in the bottom we need to create the link okay yeah and inside the link we need to add choose plan clever path and uh, we need to wrap the button with the link all right now it's gonna work let's check choose plan yep it's working Okay, let's do the same with our buttons in here. All right, let's do it. So let me copy this guy and we go to the tap content one. Try it now. Let's add and with the link. Yes. Uh, link is not defined because we need to import the link. I will never do this in here. So import uh, link from yeah, grab to DOM. Now it's gonna work. Okay. Yep. And you see, guys. The problem is, okay, let's click try it now. And the problem, guys, we want to open like this, you know, with the zero on the top so we can see the, our logo and sign in page. Okay, so we're gonna fix it uh, after, after add the links, okay? So let's continue with the links, then we come back to this issue, so second tab component let's see where is the button 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 
right here let's add our link let's save let's see link okay let's copy from the this one all right now let's put down here okay let's save now it's defined let's go here the second oops okay we have issue in here so let's fix it uh tab two that's happened because guys we need to add this class right here okay uh just delete this class so let's save let's save let's see yep and it's working all right uh, and let's finish with the third one uh, let me copy uh, yeah let me copy this and the third one here's a button same thing it's gonna be with the class and yeah let's get rid of this class name uh, let's save uh, let's see a uh, link yes link let's copy and let's add i don't know let's put down here let's save all right good and now let's fix this issue we want to open uh straight from starting from the top you know so we need to go to our choose plan page and uh we need the change we need the change to class guys because it's not gonna work so we're gonna say class and extends i'm gonna say the let's delete this uh, component oop not composition but component okay and let's add in here our component let's save Okay, all right, and what's wrong in here? Yes, we need to add the render. So render, we need the render our return. So let's get the return. Oh, not 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 in here, but. yeah and let's add in the render let's save uh let's see it's no issue okay it's working the same but in here we need to add the deep mount so come pull and uh did mount and we want uh, to window and scroll to you know say zero and zero all right so now it's gonna fix let's go back to our main page so this work let's see on the tabs yeah it's working everything work as we want to all right so guys we're done with our project finally so guys if you like this project these videos so hit the like button and of course you can ask me in the comments uh, i know if you have any questions i will try to answer as soon as possible so guys leave me in the comments uh, if you like if you like this kind of projects if you want more so just uh, okay tell me tell me all right all right guys see you in the next project